What's up WordPress nerds? In this video, I'm gonna be going over serialization and how it works with WordPress. And so if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to make sure you get notified of my weekly WordPress videos. All right, let's jump into it. All right, so I wanted to make this video kind of into, in response to some bad information that I gave in my last video. In the last video, I talked about how you can find and replace information in the database just by opening it up in a text editor and doing it. And I completely forgot about serialization. And that's why I wanted to make this video as a reminder to myself that that's a thing and hopefully uh, help a few people out who may have been confused like I was. Um, so in this video, we're going to be talking about how serialization works, what it looks like, and how WordPress helps us out with it. So in our day-to-day -day lives, we usually work with arrays of some sort. And so I have here an example array. It has a Boolean as the first param or first item, which is true. The next one is a string, which is example.com. And then the third item is a number of 365. And so when we output that to the screen, we get exactly that. However, when we need to say insert this into the database, uh, we cannot just put an array into the database. It's just not how it works. So what there is, is there is a function in PHP called serialize. And what this does is this turns that array into something we can put in the database, like a string. So if we were to refresh this page, it's going to take this array, it's going to pass it through that function and we're going to get a string out of it. And then, so that's what uh, is returned here. And it kind of looks a little bit hard to read, but once you kind of break it down, it makes a lot of sense. So the first uh, parameter here, I guess I'm gonna call it, is an A with a colon and then a three. And what that stands for is that this is an array and it has three items in that array. And then between this first curly bracket and this last curly bracket is the contents of that array. You're gonna see these I's right here, I0, I1, and I2, and those are indicating the like index of the array, the zero, the one, and the two that we see right here. And then so right next to each of the indexes is the value of, of that index. So the B right here first is a Boolean and the value of that Boolean is one. So that's true. And then over here and next to the index of number one is an S that has 19 next to it. So what does that mean? S stands for string and 19 stands for how many characters this string is. Then we have example.com, which is that string. And then finally we have our last item and that is an integer, which has 365 in it. And so, the problem with the way that I was doing it previously is if we were to find and replace the items in the database just with a new URL, so say from example.com to blah.com, then that changes what the character count is, but we're not finding and replacing this. We can't do that. That becomes a whole other process of being able to fix this number along with and make it match what the new value is. And so that's where um, things like, you know, WP Migrate DB Pro come in handy because it'll just go through your database and find and replace that stuff for you. Um, and plus it has a ton of other things. However, if you're not looking to spend any money, then you can also use something like Better Search and Replace, which is by the same company. And you can essentially do the same thing that I was, I was talking about, where you can search for and replace with the old URL and the new URL. So when you're migrating uh, or syncing up your database, you could do something like that. So that's where serialization is, is helpful, is it actually will keep track of the length of strings and keep track of what types of data you're working with. So it keeps everything structured. So how does that work with us in WordPress? Well, we have things like arrays that we need to keep up in maybe a post meta or a user meta, and it works the same way in both. So I'm just gonna use post meta here. 
So let's take that un or that unserialized data, so the raw ar array, and see what happens when we use update post meta. So on the 11th post, we're going to um, set a key of example meta, and we're going to store in that array. And so if we save that, refresh the page over here, and then check our database. So if I open SQL Pro, and then I check our post meta, look at the content of it, you can see right here that it has automatically serialized the array for us. I didn't do that. We don't have that um, being, we don't have that happening before the update post meta. We're just putting in the raw array. So WordPress is helping us out by doing that for us. And then when we are getting that post meta, so if we were to echo out or print out get post meta, looking for that example meta key, and now we have an unserialized array. So we got it back exactly the way that we originally put it in. So that is very helpful for WordPress too, because um, normally what we would have to do is we would have to serialize this information. Then we would have to, you know, some script to put it in the database. And then when we wanted to get it, we would have to do the kind of the same function to get it from the database. And then we would have to unserialize that information. Oh, we want it to be serialized. So we want to serialize the information, then unserialize it just to kind of um, make it seem a little bit more realistic here. So boop. And we want to serialize the data, then we want to unserialize it, and we should just get our, our array. So yeah, we get our, our array back. We don't want var dump, we'll do print r to make it look like it matches. So then we get our serialized string. That's what we put in the database. And when we get it back, we unserialize it, and then we have our array back. So hopefully you found this helpful. Hopefully um, you guys can trust that if I make a mistake and I give some poor information and I find out about it, I'll make a video trying to correct it. Um, lastly, just thanks to my patrons and all you guys watching. I really appreciate the support. Um, there are links to WP Migrate DB Pro and Better Search and Replace down in the description below. So in case you want to check those out. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.